be making basics. What's going on YouTube, Be Making Basics, back again with another video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now today's video, I'm actually gonna be showing you how to chop drum samples in Logic Pro 10, the super simple, easy way. Let's go ahead and jump right in. The first thing I'm gonna do is come over here to the MIDI, um, a software instrument track, and then we're gonna go with so uh, the quick sampler on the instrument, it's midway down, stereo. All right, this is the quick sampler. The quickest way to chop your drum samples up is usually do the quick sampler. I will show another way, but this is gonna be the quickest way. So let's just go over here to our Apple Loops. We'll go over here to John, we'll go to hip hop, and then we'll go to drums. So these are our hip hop drums right here. We'll just come and get like some type of boop loop real quick so we can chop that up. So I have some good look, uh, drums in here. You can put it on either original or optimize. Um, optimize is optimizing tuning and loudness, searching for loop points and cropping the silence. So that could be a great way to go ahead and put your drums in here um, on optimize. Like if you were doing a melody, I would say using this one more, but drums optimize is perfect. Um, I usually always go ahead and turn the loop off. And basically what you wanna do to chop this up you could do one or two things. You can keep it in classic mode and just take this and move it to whatever chop you want or slice mode, which I think is gonna be the better way to do it, especially for drums. Like literally most of the time, as soon as you put it in here on slice and then have it under transient, it's literally just gonna go ahead and chop up your whole, you know what I'm saying, kit right here. And you have, now you have like a whole kit. Like, of course, you have to come in here sometimes and, like, you know what I'm saying, change up stuff. Like, this one right here does not need to be in there. So, we can click it, get rid of it. Now, you have them everything uh, laid out here. Everything is on the piano. As you can see, you have a C1, C sharp. D, um, you know, and it keeps on going up. One cool thing is to come over here where it says chromatic and take that to either the white keys or the black keys. I usually like putting it on the white keys if you're using your MIDI keyboard or whatever, or if you're using musical typing, it makes it simple and easy to find where all of the drum sounds are. So this is literally the quickest way to just go ahead and chop up your drum sounds. Like I said, you have a whole kit right here at your disposal at, uh, for the most part. Some more things you can obviously do. Um, you can control the sensitivity here. So that's pretty cool. I'm actually really feeling this. I'm uh, I'm actually gonna go ahead and save this in here. I'm gonna say crate. I think I misspelled that. So I think I was gonna do, yeah, crate digging. So crate drums one. So you save it like that. And then you could come over here and say if I wanted to have the one that has all the, uh, Intensity. Probably like right there. It's perfect. Then I can do this one that's uh, crate drums too. And then there you have it. Cool, so that's one way to do it. Um, 
Another way to do it is like literally just take it in and drag it and drop it right here in the workspace window. But that's gonna take a lot of time and effort and whatever, whatever, whatever. But for like say one shots, like I say this kick right here, that's a perfect way to do this. You can take this and zoom in. Um, you can push the letter T. That's gonna pull up your tools. You can go to the fade tool, put a little fade on that. Um, then you can actually take that and drag that into the quick sampler or put it in the drum machine designer, sample alchemy or any of these. But you can come over here and just use the playhead to just make your, your, your cuts here and pull out everything as well. Kind of see how simple that is. All right, y'all. So what I want to do now is go ahead and do a slight little cook up. Um, I really liked how, uh, you know, some of those drums sounded. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull back up my kit or pull back up these drums. Um, what did I call that crate? Let me see here. Crate drums, boom. So now I could take what I have here and I could cook up something. Push command K. this uh, follow tempo on here. That's gonna help too, like if I wanna, you know, speed this up some. I'm gonna put this on an eight bar loop. Quantize that. I'm actually gonna do like a one over uh, eight on that. Maybe I should have did the one over sixteen. Let me see. Yeah. So I'm moving these up and down by holding down option and uh, pushing the up and down arrows.
see how that sounds. Texas part. Bro, oh, what the heck? So anyway, you know, you get the point. Cool, let's just listen to it all the way through now. I can come over here too and like grab other stuff and go to crack too. I can find like a hi hat. that alone anyway y'all appreciate y'all watching make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel also go to my website be making basics.com check out my latest course be making in logic pro 10.8 also you can get the bundle deal where you get everything on the site we got sound packs loop packs everything like that everything you need bro especially if you're a beginner appreciate you i'll see you in the next video